Hi, I'm Warren Seeger with a tip that you can use for your next home improvement project. This week is the second part of our series on how to properly wire a GFI receptacle. If you remember last week, we showed you how a GFI receptacle can actually act more like a switch than a power source. And that's all in the wiring. In this situation, it was actually a daisy chain how they wired a GFI receptacle. The main power source comes into the bottom of the receptacle. Coming off the top, they've run off the top, taking the power from that receptacle to our switch. So as long as the receptacle or this GFI is not tripped, everything works the way it should. As soon as it's tripped, it acts like a switch, cutting off the power to any lights or switches or receptacles that are in line with that GFI receptacle. Now it all is in the wiring. And instead of da daisy chaining the power off of this GFI receptacle, if you add pigtails instead, you're not gonna have this problem. So let's take a look at it. Our light works. If I trip the GFI receptacle, nothing happens. We still have power to our light or receptacles in line. And that's because of the pigtails. The pigtails are nothing more than additional leads coming off of the main power line. You'll notice here, off of our hot, we have two uh, lines that are coming off of that. We have two lines coming off of our ground, and we have two lines coming off our neutral. As far as for the hot, one comes off going to the GFI, and one goes to our light switch. That gives power to each on its own. For the neutral, one goes to the GFI, and the other goes to the actual light, completing our circuit. And of course, all your ground wires always get tied together. So whether the GFI is on or off, we still have power for our, our light or receptacle. For more tool tips like this, be sure to stop by our website at edificeventure.com.